Hi, howdy, welcome back. If you can't tell by the title of today's videos, we are going to be looking at a company called Concrete Minerals, I believe. Yeah, Concrete Minerals, they do eyeshadow. I stumbled across them online. We're just gonna have a sneak peek at them. Cause I'm kind of curious, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Um, but first, if this is your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit like. If this is not your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit subscribe. Then like either or whatever makes you feel comfortable. Okay, we have got packaging it came in. So much plastic garbage. Okay. It's like a little sampler group. It comes like this. I decided to buy their primer. In fact, what we are going to do is try out their primer today. Like, I see a lot of really good reviews for this primer, which is part of the reason I even looked into this company, is because of the primer. Now the primer, oh, assuming I can get this open, here we go. It's just like a little putty on the inside. Honestly, I think I was expecting a little bit more, but if they're doing this 10 kilogram by the weight. Now this is called Electric Eye Primer. Now, according to the back, it supply a small amount to a clean eyelid using fingertips. Blend well until eyelids feel silky rather than oily. Enjoy vibrant, longer-lasting eyeshadows with no creasing. Yeah, I guess I'll be the judge of that. And it feels just like lip balm. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna try out the creamer. Not creamer, but the uh, primer. Okay, that feels about right. Has anybody else tried concrete minerals? I'm not gonna lie, I have avoided a lot of mineral makeup, especially after Bare Minerals. I tried Bare Minerals a few years ago, and I was, suffice it to say, less than impressed. If my eyes look a little pink, I just filmed the Jeffree Star Pink Religion video and I didn't want to come off. Even with the primer, it was it was determined it was staying. Okay, I bought this kit, I believe it's called Jungle Queen. Not certain. Let me look, let me look, let me look. Forest Queen collection. My mistake. And then I also ordered the multi chrome sample bundle. We're gonna look at these. And I am glad I went with the samplers because the large sizes are definitely larger. And I didn't know if I'd like this company. Let's see, Playground Twist, Spellbound. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got a lot in here. Night Shift. Ooh, Dragonfly. We're gonna swatch as many of these as I have arm space for. Problem is, if you can't tell, I still have pink lines from my last video. I'm kind of actually excited to try these because the pictures I always see online show something amazingly vibrant and beautiful. And then I got White Rabbit just, just out of curiosity. Okay, let's, let's try and open one, see if I can not spell it on myself. And we're gonna try opening Playground twist. It seems to be a green shifting multi-tone. Ooh, and I guess I opened that upside down. That was my bad. Let's try that again. Whoa. Let's turn the lighting on. Oh, my goodness. That is that is that is emerald green. That is green green. Holy Hannah, I'm just gonna dip my finger in it slightly. Okay, let's, let's try this. Like I barely even tapped my finger. Oh my, oh my goodness, look at that color. Oh my, ooh. Not gonna lie, that one is really working for me right now. Um, let's try it. 
try out Spellbound. Wow. Like, I don't think the camera is picking up the vibrancy of these colors at all. Like, these are some gorgeous. I was not expecting these because I did not pay an arm and a leg for these, okay? Okay, let's try Voodoo Dolly. That one went down my front. Ooh. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. That is pigmented and that is in my clothes now. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna give an eye up right now and try out these. Very stained on my shirt. Holy Hannah. Let's just take. This. Wow. These are beautiful. I'm not going to lie. These are gorgeous. These are very, very pigmented. You can get on everything. And I can see why now the shape of the bigger container. Like I was kind of on the fence about that one. But right now, I'm thinking, ooh, I really kind of wish I'd had that. Okay. Let's just dip into the green. Okay. Fallout is definitely a thing. Ooh. Okay, I should have tapped that off. That is my mistake. That is my bad. I'm not even going to blame on the makeup because it is a mineral powder and I did not think. Oh, holy Hannah. Ooh, hold on, let me. I'm going to take that off. That is beautiful. I was not expecting that. Holy shit. Ooh, pardon my language. Sorry. Sorry, I was not meaning to say that. I'm just a little amazed, honestly. I could see purchasing this, like the full size, like 100%. And it shifts to that beautiful gold. Ooh. Okay, the primer is doing what it's supposed to. And apparently I got a lot more of this on my brush than I ever, ever, ever thought. Ooh. Okay, this is one of those brands. Ooh, very goth. That is, okay, it's not super expensive, but I wouldn't call it cheap. But they are always, always, always running specials. So, if I were you guys and you're interested in this, and you should be. Oh my god, you should be. <sighs> Got away from me a little bit there. Like, this camera is not doing this justice. I don't even know how to put this. Like, the shift is unbelievable. The color is unbelievable. I I look very sci-fi. Um, oh. oh, my God. I may end up ordering this just to play with some more. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I'm curious. 
Would the finger have been a better application tool? Let's find out. This shifts between gold, green, and pink. Okay, this is not my best application. To be fair, I was not expecting this kind of color payoff, nor it being this loose. Anytime in the past when I have done mineral makeup, like bare minerals, it was not this kind of pigmentation. That's for darn sure. Nor was it come across quite this loose. Now, let me pull out Forest Queen and show you what came in that. And I'm hoping, hoping to not make a fool of myself with the other eye. Um, the primer, I'm not seeing, ooh, sorry, try the horse. I'm not actually seeing any creasing in the eye makeup itself, just see the natural creases of my eye. Okay. I'm loving this green. This is green. This is a nice green. Okay. And that is actually a gorgeous color. It's just an actual green green, thankfully. Let me switch pan this. Let's see if I can. Okay. You know, I bought this on a whim. Mostly because of the primer's review. But I'm starting to think that perhaps this company is a little underrated. It's going to take a lot of practice, well not a lot, it takes some practice to get used to doing the powders. But the blend out seems to be beautiful. You can definitely build up on the pigmentation. Like that is not up for question, just look at this eye. It looks like Alien. Like I feel like I should be in a weird 80s science fiction movie. That's really pretty green. What is that? Living Dead. That is a, a mossy green. That is a beautiful mossy green, though. They're not kidding. When they say, that is, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am a little blown away by this. I was not expecting this good a color. And I would be curious to see how well it wears over a long period of time. Get stick the sticker out. Ooh. We're going to take a picture of this. I'm thinking the flash on the camera will actually give you guys a better representation of what this looks like. Feel free to hop on over to my Instagram, nerd1966, well, nerd underscore 1966, so we can take a look at this a little bit better. But this has got the grungy feeling to it that I was super not expecting. In fact, let's take the brush out. Let's buff up, buff up, buff up. Buff, 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 buff. And buff at the color line.
Okay. I am not hating this primer. I am a little shocked, but I don't hate this primer. I think this primer is doing really, really well. Let's stand up. See, now this one I'd be more likely to wear on a day to day. It's a little softer. This one I feel like alien, 80s alien movie where the most we can do to make it look like an alien is to give it duochrome makeup. And this is an amazing duochrome. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat that crap. Like some of these colors, if I could find them in clothing, I would never wear normal clothes again. These are beautiful, like beautiful, beautiful. Okay, just on an impulse, I'm gonna take the purple and do this and let you see what this dual chrome looks like. It is shifting between purple and blue. And then the wineish colored one. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. See what I'm dealing with here? These are not, and you know what, just for grins and giggles, let's throw on a blue. This one's called Night Shift. Okay, let's see how it looks. Whoa. See that? Okay, if you're looking for dramatic, deeply pigmented duochromes, metallics, how are we phrasing this? As multi-chrome Try the multi-chrome sample bundle. I think you're gonna find something you love. Caution, it falls out on your clothes. That is gonna be a pain to get out of my clothing and I don't have a lot of maternity clothing anymore that fits. Yes, I've gotten to that size. But um, I would suggest trying this company out. Like, Ooh, I will be ordering again, like I can guarantee it, except it probably won't be the multi-chromes. It's not that I don't like the multi-chromes, I just, I don't wear those as much as say, plain greens and yellows. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to store these without spilling these everywhere. Because I feel like these are not the safest containers. Okay, we're gonna try this though. This is the last one we're gonna try. White Rabbit. I have a friend, Jess, who's desperately looking for the shade of white. A white that will just be white, white. Ooh. And we shift to pink. Love this. Not gonna lie. Okay guys, what do you think? Is anybody, have any of you tried Concrete Minerals? Were you as shocked as I was at the color? Because this is definitely not what I was expecting. Okay, I probably should have thought twice before putting it on my forehead because looking at my forehead now, something tells me this is not gonna all come out. Look, my eyebrows are blue. It's probably the most any of you have seen of my eyebrows. Unless you watch the video where I did my eyebrows. Okay, guys, tell me what you think. Tell me if you've tried it. Anybody else um, find a learning curve with the uh, minerals part, or was that just me? Oh my. 
And the primer does not want to let go. Holy crap, this is going to be a fight. Well, I was looking for a primer that was going to stick. And that's it. We go. Let's try the other side. Let's see if that comes off. Okay, let's let's go backwards on reviewing my um, thoughts on this primer. Holy crap, this does not want to come off. I like it all. I like it all, all. Like I thought my 24 hour shadow and charge was good. But this, I'm, I'm gonna legitimately have to go wash my face a couple times to get this out, especially with my eyebrow. Like you see me wiping this and it is not coming off. Okay guys, let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below. Let me know if you've tried this. I'm gonna go scrub part of my face again. Probably should have thought this out a little bit better. <laughs> Let me know what you think, okay? Also, if you are in a very high area that has got the COVID Delta variant, be careful, mask, social distancing, wash your hands. It is not something to be taken lightly. As somebody who has spent a month coughing up blood, take it seriously, okay? Sounds silly, but be careful. Don't let yourself get hurt just because, okay? Thanks, have a nice night. Let me know what you think.